Hey guys, John here. Today's patch in pigments is an ambient pluck and it sounds a little something like this. And there's quite a few different controls here, so we, if we can change the tonality of this, of this uh, pluck here. And then we have the effects on delay. So if you want a little bit less delays, you can always dial this back or a little bit less reverb, we can dial that back as well. And then we have a presence macro that, that basically just controls this cutoff. So if you wanted a little bit more bright, this is where you would want to reach for. So really basically basically with these different knobs here, we can really have a lot of control over how we want the timbre of this pluck to sound like. So let's turn this tone down over here. Let's keep our effects up and then let's turn the effects off. We're gonna get to that in just a second here. So we're really just using engine number two and then a little bit of utility for a little bit extra attack here. Now engine number two is gonna be sent to filter number one, which is over here. And the utility is getting sent to filter number one, which is here as well. And then this output's getting sent to filter number two and we'll get to that in just a second. So analog engine two, we have two saw waves and one square wave. These first two, or this first one's gonna be out all the way at the top at zero. The second saw wave is gonna be down one octave, also out all the way. And then the last one is gonna be a square wave with no pulse change over here for the width. And this is gonna be down one octave as well with a slight bit of detune here at 0 0.032. And then we have a little bit of voices. We have three voices. The detune is at 1.50%. And then the stereo is a little bit more so in the center because I don't want it to be too spread out because it's more of a plucky sound. It should be kind of a little bit, maybe mono-ish kind of a little bit at 52.4%. Now over here on the utility engine, this is just using this Celestia type of attack sound. So if we turn this off, we just get a little bit of that noise and it kind of just adds a little bit to the pluck sound to kind of make it sound a little bit more plucky, right? Now for the envelopes, because that's very important, especially for a plug sound, the attack is going to be one millisecond, decay 300 milliseconds, zero sustain, and then the release is going to be four, six, seven milliseconds, and the decay curve is negative four. So generally the envelopes are going to be very important in this type of sound. Because it's a plug, it just should be there and it should be gone. Awesome. Now for the cutoff, we're modulating this a little bit with envelope number two down over here, which is going to be the attack one millisecond, decay 500, sustain zero, and the release 100 over here. Now the modulation amount is only 0.18. And then uh, we have the macro number four, which we talked about here for the presence. And the resonance isn't going to change. It just boosts a little bit by 0.28. And this is going to be the Jupiter 8 filter because it kind of wanted something a little bit smoother on a low pass 24. Now the interesting spot as well is it's going to, both of these are going to this first filter, then the output is going to the second filter, and this is just using the multi-mode and kind of cutting the low end off around 45.6 hertz. No resonance there, just kind of removing some of the information that we don't really need. Now moving on to the effects, we kind of have quite a few things going on here. So let's turn off this FXB and let's look at FXA and turn some of these off here. So first we have this delay. And that is going to be a one over eight dotted note, the fine zero feedback 0 0.352, stereo spread 0.154, high pass 369, low pass 1034 hertz. And the dry wet knob is gonna be modulated at maximum at 0.30. And like I said, these are gonna be on the macros on the second one over here. The next delay is gonna be the one over four, the fine zero feedback 0 0.260, stereo width 0 0.7, high pass 343, low pass 2100. 78 hertz and the dry wet amount is going to be modulated at 0.31 and then we send it to a little bit of this nice chorus juno 6. and notice we don't have any of this dry wet modulated so this is going to be 50 percent here if you find it's a little bit too much you might want to come over here and dial that back over here now the rate's going to be 0 0.404 the depth 4.73 and the phase is 180 and if you look over here this is the preset for mode one now moving on from there, we turn off FX or turn on FXB and we have a shimmer reverb for the first one. And this one is going to be modulated by 0.15 for the macro number three at about, yeah, 0.15, so 15%. And then the pitch shift is gonna be plus seven semitones or a fifth up. And the feedback is gonna be 2.216, size 59.2, modulation one, high pass 328, low pass 7K, 
ducking 0.396 and stereo width at 7.750. And then this gets sent to another reverb. So we're sending the shimmer out to another reverb, which is a kind of a cool sound here. And the reverb here is going to be 0.52%, so 52%, also tied to the reverb. And you can always change these amounts here if you'd like to, to fit your patch a little bit better or your song. The pre delay is 15 milliseconds, the size 1.13, decay 0.282, stereo width 0.5, high pass 343 hertz, low pass 3045 hertz, and the damping 0 0.704. Now, last but not least is just a parametric EQ, and we're kind of just cutting off some of these low frequencies using the low shelf at about 100 hertz and removing about 3.84 dB. And then for the first one, we're targeting 321 hertz because it can get muddy after a little while, especially with ambient kind of stuff. So we're kind of removing some of that at 7 uh, 7.08 7 dB downwards. Now, the last one that we are changing is this hearing, adding a little bit of presence at 3K and giving maybe a 1.92 dB boost, so almost 2 dB around there. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the effects. There's not too much going on. It's kind of a simplistic patch, but with these macros over here, you have a lot of customizability with these. And this tone, the reason it's starting to sound like a square pluck once we turn this, if we go over here to the analog here and we hover over this FM amount, we can see that this is macro one over here. So all the way to the left, we don't have any frequency modulation. This tone is actually frequency modulating these two sine waves, and that's gonna be from the square wave. So that's kind of how it's going to impose that, almost that square sound to this pluck here. Almost a wood type of sound. Where here it sounds more saw wave. You can really hear it if we don't have any of the effects on. But yeah, so that's basically this patch in a nutshell. If you'd like to get it for free, there's a link in the video description below and it can be yours. And thank you so much for watching. Hope you learned something and we'll see you in the next one.